this problem, we're going to find the second derivative of a product rule. Now, you notice we have some function with x times another function with x. And we're going to have to be very careful. Uh, and I will say there are multiple paths to doing this problem. So just because I'm doing it this way does not mean that another way that you see may, would not be appropriate. So, but I'm going, to, I'm going to do the product rule, which would be the derivative of the first, leave the second factor alone, and then we do the derivative of the second, leave the first factor alone. So derivative of e to the x is e to the x, leave the second factor alone, so we're not going to do anything to the natural log of 5x. Now that can be deceiving because it looks like nothing has changed, but don't forget, we're going to have plus. Now we're going to leave the e to the x alone, and we're going to do the derivative of natural log. Now the derivative of natural log, sometimes people like to write these things off on the side and they're going to say, I'm going to think of this as its own little problem. So the derivative of natural log is 1 over the argument. And I call it the scratch out technique. I say, OK, we did the natural log, but we have not done the inside. So what is the derivative of the 5x that is left? Well, that derivative would be 5, or 5 over 1, which we can then simplify to rewrite as 5 divided by 5 over x. And now we have a little bit of division that we can do, which leaves us with 1 over x. So we're now going to take our answer and write that over here. Now, I do highly encourage my students to be able to do this in their, in their I call it their math vision or their calculus vision, without needing to write that off to the side. I would much prefer they be able to look at this from the straight, straight from the problem and say, the derivative natural log is 1 over the argument, scratch that out, and then keep going. All right, now, that is the first derivative. Now, of course, we can do a little bit of cleanup if we need, if need be, if need be. Um, some people might prefer to write this, uh, on the second, the second term, as this is e over one, and then multiply across, giving us e over x divided by x, and then they proceed with a quotient rule. Um, or another option, I'll, I'll pop back to that at, at the end of the video. I'll go through the other option. All right, so let's continue with this one. The second derivative now would be, well, notice we have our first, this derivative, once again, is another product rule. And in fact, it happens to be the exact same product rule that we started with. So this is going to result in the line we're working from. Um, so the derivative of e to the x is e to the x, leave the natural log of 5x alone, plus, now leave the e to the x alone, that factor. The derivative of natural log, we already know, is 1 over 5x times the derivative of the argument, which would be 5. And this 5s would divide, resulting in 1 over x. Okay, now that takes care of, that takes care of, uh, this is just, come on, highlight, ah, I lost my place. No, let's try that again. There we go. That is the derivative of that. But now we still have to do the derivative of the other part. Okay, so we're going to say plus. Now, what is the derivative of e to the x divided by x? Well, that's a quotient rule. So we're going to say it's low times the derivative of the numerator. So denominator times the derivative of the numerator minus the numerator times the derivative of the denominator all over the square of the denominator. And course, there's options as far as simplification at this point, whether your teacher requires it or not. It just depends on your professor. I'm just going to do a quick little rewrite, as this is e to the x over x. There we go. And now over here, we could rewrite this as maybe splitting this up into two fractions, x e to the x over x squared minus e to the x over x squared. And we can simplify. This x divides with this, uh, leaving us with e to the x times the natural log of 5x. And I will point out, notice every line is mathematically equivalent. I am not shorthanding and not writing bits and pieces. Every line, I make sure I have every piece written. Okay, And that's how things get lost. And what I notice is I have e to the x divided by x plus e to the x divided by x, which then can be combined to be e to the x times the natural log of 5x plus 2 e to the x over x minus e to the x over x squared. 
And that's about as simple as, as it can get if you were going to have everything in separate factions. Um, now, where was I going to point out? Oh, right back here. Another option. So if instead of doing it as a quotient rule, you may have looked at it and said, hey, I'm going to rewrite this x in the denominator. I'm going to rewrite this. So that way it turns into e to the x times x to the negative 1, right? bringing this up to the numerator. Now doing that, I'm going to just scoot this down. It's a little close for my liking. There we go. Okay. Now instead of doing a quotient rule, we can do the exact same problem. But we use it, do it using a product rule on that second term. So this first, this first term is identical to what it was. Do the derivative of e to the x, and you leave the natural log of x alone. Plus, now leave the e to the x alone. Derivative of natural log, as we've already said, is one over x after the simplification. Plus, now here we go. We're going to focus on this one. We have a little product rule. We have e to the x times x to the negative one. I don't like it. the contrast. Let's go blue. There we go. That's better. So derivative of e to the x is e to the x leave x to the negative 1 alone, plus, now, we're going to leave e to the x alone, the derivative, derivative of x to the negative 1 is we bring the negative 1 down to the front, x to the negative 2. And now, be careful with those parentheses, if you don't write the parentheses, if you don't write these parentheses, it's subtracting, not multiplying. Alright, so make sure you have those parentheses. Alright, so, we're going to keep going with this, and I'm going to recopy everything, so this is e to the x over x, plus e to the x, maybe I'll rewrite this one as over x, uh, so this x to the negative 1, I'm just going to drop it to the denominator. Now this minus, I'm going to make it a minus in the front, let me get this a little clear, minus uh, e to the x over x squared, and now you should hopefully recognize that is now identical to that step we had prior. So uh, you can see it will result in the same answer. So it kind of just depends which one you prefer. I hope this helps.